It's been a long time. What's going on guys, it's Marcus, back with another YouTube video. And I know it's been quite a few months since my past video, but I'm here to talk about the brand new iPhones that were just unveiled within the past week, okay? Now Apple had had their Apple September event where they normally unveil some new iPhones, maybe even some new iPads, and occasionally even some new MacBooks or some new Mac products. So this video specifically, I'm only going to talk about the iPhone 13 and 13 Pros. Now these iPhones are some of the most gorgeous phones I have ever seen in my life. Okay, and yes, this year I am officially upgrading. Now I've had my iPhone 11 Pro Max for I would say about two years, 2019. But this year, Apple have went crazy and upgraded the, uh, the iPhone cameras to be absolutely phenomenal. Now these iPhones, they have a telephoto, they have a wide ultra wide camera. Um, they also have the A15 Bionic chip, which is the fastest chip ever in a phone. Now going from the A13 Bionic chip to the A15 Bionic chip is gonna probably be incredibly impressive when it comes to speed, performance, gaming. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a 6.5 inch Retina, was it a Super Retina XDR display, which is pretty phenomenal. However, these new iPhones, the iPhone 13 Pros, all have 6.7 inch displays. And this year, which is brand new, they included ProMotion. Now, if you guys don't know what ProMotion is, that basically means 120 hertz variable refresh rate, which means that the phone will fill and look so much smoother. My iPad Pro has ProMotion and I fell in love with it. It's just pretty smooth. But now that my phone can officially have ProMotion, yeah, it's gonna be pretty phenomenal. The reason why I'm also upgrading to the iPhone 13 Pro Max is because it also includes 5G. Now, last year I did skip the 12 Pro Max. My girlfriend has a 12 Pro Max and I fell in love with her phone because of the, the form factor, the squared off edges around the sides, it's just, it's pretty great. And she also had 5G connectivity. My iPhone 11 Pro Max only supports 4G. Now, since I'm upgrading to the 13 Pro Max, I can now officially take advantage of those higher cellular speeds, which is gonna be pretty awesome when I go to, when I travel to big cities like New York City or Tampa or Nashville, they all have 5G LTE speeds, but I can now take advantage of it because my phone didn't support it. Now, another reason why I'm upgrading to the 13 Pro Max is because it has up to eight more hours of battery life compared to my 11 Pro Max. Like, I normally charge my phone once, maybe twice a day um, to get me through the day. But hopefully with these phones here, with the new 13 Pro Max, I can probably go probably a day to a day and a half without even charging it. That's what I'm hoping for and I believe that it will allow me to do that. Um, I just think that would be really cool if it actually allows me to do that. Now this year, the iPhones also included some storage upgrade options as well. It goes from 128, 256, 512, and then the brand new and over the top one terabyte option. I went for the one terabyte option. The reason why I went for the one terabyte is because I do a lot of video editing, I'm a vlogger, I do YouTube videos, so I figured I can take advantage of stories that I have on my phone. So I'm having to delete videos, I can keep them on there for a long time and not even worry about it eating up a lot of my phone storage. I have a whole terabyte in my phone now. But that one costs $1,600. So I'm very excited about these new upgrades. Of course, the, uh, the iPhones, they have a new cinematic photography mode that adds a lot of depth of field to your photos, to your videos. I'm gonna take advantage of that especially. So guys, yep, that's just my little take on why I'm upgrading to the 13 Pro Max. Now, I ordered it yesterday when it went on pre-sale, um, but I ordered too late, so it's it pushed back my shipping date a little bit. So in a couple of weeks, you'll see me. I'll do another unboxing video where I will unbox my new iPhone, talk about what I like about it, things like that. So stay tuned for that. But until then, guys, I'm Marcus, and you guys have a very good one.